Hello everyone, my name is Dylan and today I'm going to show you how to design your own logo with GoDaddy Studio. Now, a logo is the foundation of your brand's identity. It's like the flag it flies out there in the world. So it's an important job to get done, but it's also a really fun and easy project that you can definitely do by yourself in GoDaddy Studio. So let's dive right in and take a look. All right, so today we're going to be working in the web version of GoDaddy Studio. We've accessed the content creator, and now we have a blank canvas in front of us and to our left hand side, a template feed. Now templates, as always, are a great way to get started quickly and easily in GoDaddy Studio. You could simply search for what you're looking to create, in this case, a logo, and you'll be given a bunch of really beautiful, professionally designed options that you can use as a starting point for your logo design. You would simply pick one of these and make some minor adjustments and customize it to your specific brand. So that's the easy way to start, but let's give ourselves a little bit more of a challenge and begin with the blank canvas. So I'm going to close that template feed and draw our attention to the blank canvas. Now this default option that we get given in the content creator, the transparent square canvas is actually the perfect starting point for your logo design. So all we need to do now is add various elements to that canvas and build up our logo one step at a time. Let's begin with text, arguably the most important aspect of your logo design since it contains the name of your brand. In this case, I'm creating a hypothetical brand called Ascent, which is an, an adventure travel company. So I've written that there, but that's looking uh, pretty lonely, that word floating in this giant big canvas. So I'm gonna move on, on over to the editing menu on the right hand side, click on text, and the first thing I'll do is just change that text size from 48 to something like 250. There we go, that looks much better. And now I can adjust the font, moving away from the default option to something uh, customized for my particular brand. So I can either search through the selection of fonts that I have already downloaded into my personal library, or if I'm looking for others, I could click browse fonts and that will take me to the full font library in GoDaddy. And here you'll have more than 500 options to choose from. Okay, for today, I'm happy to use one of my um, all-time favorites, which is a font called Lulo. Let's see, yeah, there it is. There's a few different options of Lulo. You get the thin version, the outline version, but I'm gonna go with the, uh, the bold version, which I think works really well for a logo. And that looks cool, except there's one thing I'd like to change, and that's the letter spacing. To my mind, the letters are a little bit far apart, so I'm going to click on letter spacing, and then just use the down arrow just to tap it a few times, and you'll see that moves the letters a little bit closer together. Okay, that looks good to me. And you know what, for a lot of people, that's good enough for a logo. Uh, for a lot of famous brands, that's good enough for a logo. You'll, you'll see it all over the place where people simply write the name of their company or the name of their brand in their um, unique font, and that in and of itself is a logo. So that's definitely one way you could play it, and for many people that's going to be enough. But I'd like to show you how you could go a little step further than that by adding a graphic to your logo. Now, as I mentioned, Ascent is an adventure travel company. So I was thinking something like a mountain would really give a sense of what our brand is about, what our story is about, and communicate to people uh, what we do. So let's move on over to the left-hand menu, click on graphic, and I'm going to search for mountains. Now, as expected, I get given a whole range of different um, styles of mountain graphics. We have our very thin, basic linear options, there are some watercolor options here, some playful, childlike options of mountains, uh, Japanese style graphics, and eventually we come to something that I think looks perfect for my particular brand, and that's this one over here. I'm gonna click that. I really like the, uh, the thick graphic style of this. I think it works well, well with the font that I've chosen. So I'm just gonna set these up on the page to a line in the middle. And by the way, that yellow grid line that comes down the center, there we go, that tells me that I am in the center of my composition. 
which is very useful for aligning different elements together. Okay, so that's looking good. I think I'm just gonna make the text ever so slightly smaller. You can also just grab the text box and pull the corners, make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so just one thing I noticed is that this graphic, um, although it's very dark, it's actually a dark blue rather than a black. I'd prefer it to be black, so I'm going to click on that, hit color on the side here, and I now have the option of selecting my color wheel. I could make it any color I want, but as I said, I wanted to match with my text, so I'm gonna keep it black. And just a little tip, um, I would definitely suggest when you're making your logo for the first time, keep it black and white, and that's gonna be your safest option. Down the road, you can always start to add color. Okay, so we have a graphic, we have our text, and once more, for a lot of people, that's gonna be perfect. That looks good enough, and to my mind, that already starts to look like a professional looking logo. But let's add a couple more elements just to show you uh, how much further you can go. So what we often see with logos is a second line of text, which maybe tells you uh, what your company does or where it's, where it's based or when it was established. So let's click on text to add another line of text here. I'm going to move it underneath the uh, brand name. And I think I'm gonna tell people a little, a little bit about what we do so that there's no ambiguity because after all, Ascent is an adventure travel company. Okay, so that looks good. I quite like that, uh, that, that default text, by the way. So I'm gonna leave it as it is. I just want to adjust the letter spacing again a little bit more, this time just to make it ever so slightly wider. So I'm gonna tap that up and up and up a few times. And then I'm noticing the circular shape that the, uh, that the graphic creates. It could be really cool if the text underneath continued that circular shape in, in one continuous circular motion. So we can easily do that by adjusting the curvature of that text. So I still have my text editing menu open on the right hand side. I'm just going to move down a little bit lower till I see the curve scroller. And look what happens if I move that just a little bit over to the left. We see that text starts to curve uh, little by little. You have to kind of judge it by your eye in the first pass. And something like that looks good to me. So I'll leave it there, bring it into the center. And you can now see how the curvature of this text starts to work with the roundness of the graphic that I've chosen, creating a kind of circular shape all around. Okay, so just some tiny little adjustments. It is worth being a perfectionist as you are creating your logo because you're hopefully only, hopefully only going to create it once and so it's worth doing properly the first time. Okay, once more, for a lot of people that would be a great point to, to finish and save because I think this looks like a really great logo already. But I'm just going to add one more element just to wrap it all up quite literally and that is a circular shape that I think look, could look quite nice around the entire logo. So I'm going to move on over to the menu on the left and click on shape and that will give me these options. Right at the top is precisely what I'm looking for, an empty circular shape. So I'll click on that and now it's just up to me to resize this until it fits perfectly around my logo and just need a moment to make sure everything is in the right proportion. Keep it in the center, keep it equally spaced and you know what that actually looks pretty damn good to me. So I could arguably take a couple more minutes and make some tiny little adjustments here and there but for now I think that's looking pretty good and it gives you an idea of how quickly you can actually put a logo together. So let's leave it at that and export this. So to do that, I'm gonna to navigate to the top right hand corner where I see the export button. And like with all designs, I have the option of exporting this as a JPEG or a PNG, but please play, pay close attention. When working with logos, we definitely want to always export that as a PNG because that's going to keep that background transparent so that you can now use this logo in a range of different situations and it's not going to affect the background at all. So keep it as a PNG, click on export and that's going to save that now to my downloads folder. Okay, so now when I'm done, I can head back to my dashboard because I'd like to show you 
how you can apply your logo in, uh, in designs going forward. So if I head now to my photos from my website and marketing dashboard, you should notice that that logo I've just created is sitting in my photo library. Yep, here we have it over here in my uploads. We see it's ready and waiting for me to use. So now if I return to my dashboard and from here return to GoDaddy Studio via the marketing dropdown content creator, I can now start creating designs that use my logo in it. So I could create an Instagram post or, um, or a, a Facebook header that incorporates my logo in it. Or I could, for example, create um, a product design that showcases my logo. So I'd like to do that in this case. I'm just going to um, add an image to this template. Let's say we wanted to see what our logo would look like on a t-shirt. I could simply call up a t-shirt graphic like this, find a nice blank canvas of a t-shirt. And now when I click on my photos at the left hand side here, that's going to take me to my photo library and websites and marketing dashboard. I can find the logo that I've created, click on that, click on insert and voila. Now my logo is sitting uh, on top of my design. And remember, remember I told you how important it is to use a, a PNG and we see now that that has kept the background transparent so that it's very easy to, uh, to move around and add to different designs. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So as I said at the beginning, designing a logo is definitely something you can do all by yourself in GoDaddy Studio. Give it a go, try it out and show the whole world that you mean business with a beautifully designed logo.